This is not a gun free zone. Any attempt will be dealt with deadly force. Mm. Not the type of sign that you'd expect to see at a church, well, right? You know what, with the state of affairs right now. Exactly. You know. Well, you might be seeing this on Facebook. It got shared a lot today. I bet it did. This went up in response to the recent church shooting. Dead News reporter Candice Aviles met with one of the pastors who put this up. So the people are welcome, but we let them know this is not a gun-free zone. If anybody attempts to deal with us with deadly force, then we are a church that will protect our people. At Riverette Tampa Bay Church, you'll notice these signs. You're not going to come in and find people that what we call a soft target, where people are non-combative in the sense of we're not looking for a fight. But here's the reality. We want to protect our family. Associate Pastor Alan Hawes says they've been up for over a year due to recent events. So years ago, Charleston, a prayer meeting, is uh, people are blown away by a gunman who walks in. Just a number of months ago, maybe a month ago, Nashville, Tennessee, another woman is killed, several were wounded by a gunman. Here we have just a few weeks ago in Texas, uh, 26 people were killed, half of them children, the youngest age of 18 months old, are killed by a gunman. The church's pastor, Rodney Howard Brown, posting it to his Instagram on November 5th, two days after the Texas shooting. Responses have been mixed. Some say it's sad it has to come to this point, and I wouldn't bother going to your church if you condone killing someone in your congregation. Others say I support this and thank God for a pastor that will protect the people. Haas says they're just being realistic. I would rather have people who have their feathers ruffled a little bit than I would be counting bodies of people that we failed to protect. Look, if you can go to the mall and go to Tiffany & Co and there's armed guards, if you can go to David Yerman and there's armed guards. That's for a perishable good. What about people? Life, you can't just replace a child. The signs are on just about every public entrance with the purpose of making people think twice. Look at airports. Airports take extra secu uh, security, schools, hospitals, retailers. Why not churches where people gather across the nation multiple days a week. People gather for peaceful gathering, which is also our constitutional right. So we also have that same constitutional right gives us the chance to protect our people while we gather. Candace Aviles, 10 News. Y you know, he has a point. Yeah, he does have a you point. got to protect the flock. And he's planning on leaving it up indefinitely. And you know what? It, it would also bring up the scenario of what if in Texas. Sure. You know, these poor it's people were just unarmed, like innocent, running and trying to save their lives, you know. So they even told Candace that other people in that church have noticed that other churches are coming around and they're checking out the sign a little bit, trying to figure out if it's something that they might do in their own I church. I think he's opened the door.